Hey guys, June was a busy month. I started this channel, but as always, I tried to escape to as many fictional worlds as I possibly could. So, here's a list of what I got done in June. First off, we've got The Crimson Queen by Alec Hudson. He's a self-published author, and this is book one to the Raveling Trilogy. This is a great introduction to this trilogy. It is amazing. I loved it from cover to cover. Uh, it starts out with a young man born in a fishing village. His name is Kalen. And in that land, magical abilities are forbidden and that's heavily enforced. This takes him on his adventure. Kind of a coming of age mixed with um, the hero character arc. There are There's no shortage of character building throughout the whole novel and he ought to, he takes you from one side of this map to the next. If you're a fan of high fantasy and you love character driven stories along with a really really good world I would absolutely recommend this. Me personally this is right in my wheelhouse. This is great. I love epic fantasy and high fantasy and this is a really really good mix of both I think. If I was to narrow it down I think I would say high fantasy um, as a review, I would absolutely, and I'm really lucky to have this as one of my first reviews, um, definitely a five-star review from me. It checks all the boxes for me. The second book that I read this month is The Blade Itself. Yes, I'm a little bit late to Joe Abercrombie, but guess what? Just like most people, I think he's probably one of my very favorite authors. He's punchy. He's gritty. Uh, there's a reason they call him Lord Grimdark. Um, I really didn't know what that meant as not a new reader, not a new fantasy reader, but someone who got back into it and is just starting to read Grimdark. Um, now I understand. It's kind of miserable, but you don't want to be anywhere, anywhere else. If you don't know, it follows a few different characters and this is very character based story. Uh, you've got Logan Ninefingers who's a barbarian. He's kind of lost his buddies. Um, you kind of follow his adventure throughout this book and he finds himself amongst people he may not have previously found himself next to. Um, there's another guy. His name's Captain Luther. He's all kind of prim and proper. He is a handsome kind of loathsome character but he's kind of like one that you love to hate um, you find yourself rooting for him um, and you've got another great character who I hear most people find this character to be their favorite throughout this um, the first law trilogy um, but especially me finding this book and this character being so impactful you find yourself also loving to hate Inquisitor Glockta. Um, he just makes this story so much better. And I really think that the talent that Joe Abercrombie has for his gritty, punchy, um, visceral kind of humor and what attracts readers to his novels in this character so i absolutely had to give this another five star review i've really i've been lucky with the books that i've been reading lately um especially in june uh, so this is my second five star review so far so let's move on to the third and see if the, i can carry that on the third and final book that i'm speaking of in this review is actually a novella and it is part of the bound in the broken series by Ryan Cahill and it's The Fall. Me personally, I have not started any of the other books. Um, I started with a novella. I actually did some research and, and that's okay to start with a novella. Um, <clears throat> it starts 400 years prior to the events in um, Of Blood and Fire. That's book number one. And it's just action packed to say the absolute least. You open the book with action and it ends that way. Um, it has really good characters. I would say that there's a lot more world-based action 
in this novella. You find out the characters and what they're about. You, you find out there's lots of corruption um, and dragons and blood magic. It's, it's really awesome, it's epic. I would absolutely recommend. And we're also going to end this video with a five star review. Um, that's not a bad thing, but I guess I feel a little cheap giving five star reviews, three of them in one little video. Uh, I promise to always be critical and I just happen to love all three of these books. They, they impressed me and I hope that you guys read them based on what I've told you. Um, cause I really recommend all three of them. If you guys like my content, I would ask you to please like and subscribe, please. And I would absolutely enjoy your company as a member on my Discord channel. We have really good discussions so far on that channel and it's growing. We've got really good members so far and I will leave the link below. Um, I have some other links that I'll also leave below. And I appreciate you watching this and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. And if you do, come back next time. Until then, stay imaginative. Thank you.